What's up guys? It's me, Malavia Bella. This shit my favorite song. You just don't know the words, but I still fuck with you. And for today's video, I'm gonna be talking about why I switched to online and why I dropped out of high school and all that stuff because I haven't made like a dedicated video to it and I feel like I should for some reason. I don't know, but that's why we're here today. And I was gonna make this video like six months ago, like when this all happened, but my mom wanted me to wait till my sister Vienna graduated because she went, still went to the school and she didn't want me to say anything bad and like her get in trouble for it, which I don't think was gonna happen because I'm not gonna say anything too bad. She graduated, so here we are. Congrats, Vienna. We love you. Um, so yeah, I just have a list on my phone of some things I wanted to talk about. I filmed this video, like, again, months ago when this happened, but my mom didn't want me to upload it, so again, like, some of the stuff's not really fresh in my head. And then I filmed this video, like, a week ago, and I just, it was a mess, and I was rambling too much, and it was just a mess. So I was like, I'm gonna just keep it pretty short and simple, and just, you know, so. I made a list of stuff because I didn't want to forget stuff. But before this video starts, I just wanted to say that I do still do school. I'm going to be a junior because I'm on summer break now. So when I do go back to school in August when I start doing my online school again, I will be a junior. So yeah, I made this like switch halfway through sophomore year right before winter break. Like right before we were going on winter break. So yeah, that's just some helpful knowledge i guess i don't i'm so annoying i'm so sorry <laughs> also i do want to ask you guys if there's any videos you want to know or like stuff you want to know that you're curious about like online school i can make like a q a all about my online school or just some videos regarding online school like let me down let me know down below if that's something you all want to see and if so what and i'll do it for you one of the main reasons why i left when i did was because the beginning of January, which was when we'd be going back to school, is when I got my tonsils removed. And if you guys know what a tonsillectomy is, I made a whole video about it. I'll link that down below if you guys want to see it. But um, it's a very hard recovery. It's not super easy. So I was literally sick for three weeks. Like, I did not feel, like, better at 100% until, like, a little over two weeks, three weeks. So um, I would be missing like three weeks of schoolwork because I did not feel better or feel good enough to do anything really after three weeks. So, like I wouldn't be going to school till three weeks after that. So that'd be like basically all of January, a month of schoolwork basically to make up, which was literally nearly impossible. You all know how that be. Like you can't even be absent. You have so much work. Like I just know, I don't know. My tonsils were bothering me so much sophomore year like I would have sore throats tonsil infections like back to back to back I would always be in such pain and it, like it was so annoying like I hated it and so because of that I'd be missing a lot of school throughout sophomore year not really a lot but there'd be times where I would be absent for a few days at a time and then go back to school and have like this much work to make up and then it'd be so annoying and my teachers would like lose the work or like they would take forever to grade it because it was absent work like it was just getting so annoying and again this isn't like the whole reason why but it's definitely a huge reason why I did leave when I did so yeah. Mom knew I did want to make the switch to online, so she just thought this was like a good time to do it because the tonsils were gonna happen and she knew there was no way I was gonna make up that work <laughs> because, uh, so. That's kind of why I left when I did and a big reason why was my tonsils. But now I'm just gonna go into several reasons why I personally wanted to leave. Some schools may have these reasons too and like other students may feel this way about their high schools, but I know some people might be like, that was just your school, like, don't like bash high school, bro. Like, I, I don't know. So I guess like the first reason for me was just the bathroom situations, I guess. I don't know. I just had multiple teachers who just wouldn't let me go to the bathroom. I feel like that's the same way with a lot of schools. Like teachers are just not down with kids going to the bathroom. And it was just annoying for me because I drink so much water. Like my hydro back there, I literally would drink like three of those in one school day. And then like two at my house. Like I would drink like five, like I will refill this like five times a day. Like I'm not even kidding. I drink so much water. Um, and so I'd always have to pee and like not always but like, you know, I, you know, you gotta like Gotta release the, the bodily fluids and the water, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'd be having to go to the bathroom and my teachers were just not down They were like not trying to let me go to the bathroom and it was just just so annoying Like just trying to go to the bathroom like it's not that hard like let me go to the bathroom Like what? Like I don't know. That's just how my teachers were. They just hated me when let me go to the bathroom and <laughs> That's that like I don't know and I would go at lunch, but it would just be such a long wait, like, every girl gotta go to the bathroom at lunch, I don't know, it, 
it was just that was one of the main like annoying things about school was just the bathroom situation and I know that's like bruh it's a bathroom like hold it like no like it's not that big of a deal and like yeah I get it like I would hold it to lunch like after school whatever but when you gotta go you gotta go and it's just annoying when a teacher won't let you go that's just that <laughs> like and I know one time my biology teacher like banned me from the bathroom and she like would not let me go anymore but most schools have like hall passes or like things you have to sign to go to the bathroom and so I had a personally had a planner where you would ask to go to the bathroom or go get your water whatever you had to do go to the vending machine you'd write it down your destination and when you left and when you got back and so I remember asking my teacher to go fill up my water bottle because I drink so much water I'd fill it up like multiple times during the school day and I asked her to fill up my water bottle and she said okay and so she signed me out and then I was filling up my water bottle and my biology class happened to be upstairs and there's always a water fountain in a bathroom upstairs and downstairs of each building and my school would lock the upstairs bathrooms like the beginning of fourth hour and that's when I had biology which is right before lunch and but they would keep the downstairs bathroom open. I don't know, so weird. So I remember I was filling my water bottle and then I was like, I might as well just go to the bathroom while I'm like out of class right now. I don't see a point in going back to her class and having her sign out to go <laughs> in the bathroom when I'm already here. Like that's what I would do in most classes. If I'm gonna fill my water, I'm gonna go to the bathroom too. Like just, you know, like get it out before, you know, I'd have to go later. And I remember going downstairs after filling my water bottle and going to the bathroom and then walking out of the bathroom and seeing my biology teacher standing at the top of the stairs looking at me like and I literally started laughing like it was so funny she looked so pissed and I know it's like not like probably the good thing to do but it was just so like we just did not like each other like we would butt heads like this all the time like everybody in the class knew we did not like each other and I made it very clear because she was something else I'm just gonna say that she was something else she like cry and then scream at the class and be super nice and then cry I, I'm just talking to get into detail but um and then so she says to me she was like you've been out of the bathroom for 10 minutes go back to class and I'm like okay but I was not out for 10 minutes I was like look at the time I asked you to leave and then look at time now I was like that's like six five minutes she's like you asked to fill up your water bottle like not go to the bathroom like go back to class and I'm like, okay, and I was like, I think you should too. Like, don't you got a class to teach? Why are you like worried about me so much? And I'm like, you don't do this to any other kid. I went back to class and she banned me from using the bathroom. So weird and annoying. So that's a little bathroom story for you guys about why I hated my school and my teachers and like the bathroom. So yeah. And then the second reason was the whole no phone and like headphone thing, which is like mainly, I feel like for a lot of high schools and a lot of teachers, some teachers don't care, some teachers do way too much. And that's just super annoying. Like if you're in class and you're not really doing anything, I don't see the problem with playing cup pong with a friend. I don't, I don't think that's a big deal. Again, headphones, a lot of kids I know listen to music to help them focus and to stay on task, which is a big thing. And I personally, like to listen to music while I do work and just that was just super annoying for me again it's not a big deal but it's just one of those things that's like it adds up you know what I mean and then the third reason was like dress code just so annoying and stupid for me in dress code I would barely get dress coded but when I would it'd be over the stupidest things like I'm talking like a tank top that's like not two straps like it'd be a spaghetti strap and I get dress coded like stuff like that the fourth thing was not being able to eat in class like I get so hungry all the time and I like I don't know like most teachers are just like put the food away and it's like so annoying like I want to eat my watermelon like what I don't know that's just another thing that like adds up you know I don't know and then the fifth thing <laughs> which is a Another reason was just social media for me was one of the reasons why I wanted to leave just because it would be easier to focus and make videos and like manage my time better and yeah like I know a lot of people just think that's the only reason why I left and like that's why when I don't post people are like drops out of school to do social media doesn't post for a month like it's not that deep like <laughs> like there's multiple reasons why I just didn't like school and I wanted to be doing online. I wanted to manage my own time. I wanted to do what I wanted to do during the day. I wanted to be able to eat while I'm taking a test. I wanted to be able to pause a test and go to the bathroom. I have to go to the bathroom. I wanted to be able to listen to music while I'm doing my schoolwork. I wanted to be able to go on my phone and take a break in the middle of my schoolwork. Like, it's just multiple things add up together and like, that's just that. But again, social media was one of the reasons. It wasn't the only reason and it wasn't like it wasn't like you know like I feel like some people just think that's the only reason and that's the biggest thing and how dumb that sounds and that's not just it you know <laughs> like it's not just it and then lastly was my teachers the people in my school didn't really bother me at all like the kids were fine like y'all saw in the school vlog like 
it was a fine situation. Like you guys saw my day to day life at school for like a week and it was fine. It was a good time. I didn't mind it, but I did mind the teachers. <laughs> like, I don't know, my teachers personally just hated me and I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm the best student ever, but like half my teachers and I just didn't get along and that was just so annoying. My English teacher would just really struggle with putting in grades and putting in absent work that was not absent or like if I was absent I turned something in it would take her like two months to put in and it was just really annoying like with my online it's like I'll turn something in and then the next day I log in and I see what I get on it like sometimes it's the same day like sometimes it's two days like it's nothing like that which I like a lot about online or at least my online but I don't know it just really bothered me the way me and my teachers got along I don't know I just we did not like each other and they were just they would annoy me like point blank period they were annoying and again I know people are probably like bruh every kid has to do with this everything you're saying in this video every kid goes through it's like not a big deal and I get it like I'm not saying it was so bad like I couldn't stand it like I had to leave like <laughs> no that's not what I'm saying at all like I did not mind it that much but if I have a choice and my parents are fine with me doing online and it's just a better fit for me, I'm gonna do it. And I do wanna tell you guys about this one like situation, like a little story time about a time I had with my history teacher and like, you know, we just like, he was just, I don't even know, I'll just tell you guys. I just did not really like him after this, but basically, just to give you a little summary, um, he basically made me write an essay on a guest speaker I was not even there for. and. What? Like, I don't even know. But so basically, I literally remember the situation, like it was yesterday, or this little time, I guess. Um, but I remember there was a guest speaker coming on a Tuesday, and on the Monday, and I'm pretty sure the Friday beforehand, we were like preparing for it, I guess. And so that Monday, I remember just laying in my bed, and it was so weird. I just remember laying in my bed, getting up, like it was around like 8.30 at night or something like that, and just getting up and having this insane pain like it was crazy like I did not feel weird at all until like I got up like it was just so weird like I, I don't even know how to explain it it was just crazy and I remember like trying to like walk down the stairs and like I'm pretty sure I was going to get like water or something like that and like just started crying in pain like I could not like like walk like I obviously could walk but like it just hurt to walk because of my stomach and it was so weird like it wasn't even like period cramps like it was just so odd and it just hurt so bad like a pain that I've like never felt before that and it was just so weird and odd and I just remember calling my mom and all of this was happening like right before I did make the switch to online and it was like December and that was the last um, month of school before winter break and before like the beginning of second semester. It was basically the last project before we had finals and history class. And so I remember my mom was like outside like putting up Christmas lights, I'm pretty sure. And I remember calling her just like crying, like being like, I'm I'm in the like the worst pain ever. And she came up whatever up to my room and like we were talking about it and I was just like crying, like crying to her in pain. And so we ended up just going to the hospital to figure out what was wrong. Like it was so weird and I don't know, because my doctor was like closed or whatever, and so we were just like, let's go to the hospital and figure out what's wrong. I ended up going there and like figuring it all out. Like they gave me medicine, we figured it out, they ran a couple tests, like everything like that, and I don't know, they thought it was weird too, I'm pretty sure everyone at the hospital, it was just so weird, and I don't know, it got better. That's just the summary of the hospital experience. It was just weird, weird pain, whatever. I ended up going home from the hospital at like midnight, closer, to one no I think it was just midnight I know again don't know exactly but you know went home pretty late and just ended up going to bed and so obviously didn't go to school the next day like went to the hospital the night before went home late obviously just want to sleep it off and feel better so I remember going back to school on Wednesday which the guest speaker was on Tuesday which I was resting from the weird hospital experience I had the night before so I didn't go to school. I remember going up to him and just being like hey like is there an alternate assignment I can do? I was in the hospital on Monday night therefore missed Tuesday and missed the guest speaker. Is there a way I can make this up? And he looked at me and said no you're writing the paper. And that's when I was like what? Like what did like did I hear you correctly? He's like oh you'll use another kid's like another student's notes like you're gonna do this and like use the PowerPoint like on my website like stuff like that. And so I was like 
whatever like let's just try to make this work obviously he wants me to write this paper like I'll try my best and I remember just not being able to really read the students notes that I gave like no no hate towards her or anything like this I just really couldn't read her handwriting that well and I remember there was a like a section like in the rubric where you had to write about like the questions students asked this guest speaker and like her responses to them and the notes that I had like had nothing like nothing written down about this and so I go to school next day and I'm like to my history teacher I'm like what do I do like there's nothing on this and then he's like oh well like go to the powerpoint just like try to write about this and this and this and I'm like okay whatever and I just remember like having so many issues with this paper and it just being such a struggle <laughs> like such a struggle getting extra credit on this like I did good on the essay it was just it was just like why like why did I have to do that like I literally was struggling so much on it and it took so long and it was just like one of those things like why couldn't I just watch like a like a history clip and like answer questions like what like it was just so annoying you know and I don't know it's just not fun and so that's like just something that was like annoying about my teachers I'm gonna write an essay on a guest speaker you weren't there for like what like like why that's just like I don't know, my teachers weren't annoying like that. Like, it was just, they, I don't know, like, what? So, with that whole situation and me trying to figure out if I wanted to do online or not, I was just like, yeah, like, I need out. <laughs> like, I can't do this. And, like, my whole tonsils thing, I was like, it's just time to go. Yes, basically, that's just a little quick little summary, a quick little explanation of some of the reasons why I decided to make the switch and why I decided to leave. Again, this was just something better for me personally again let me know if there's any videos you want to see about my online and everything like that but that's pretty much it for this video so give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed like this video which just said that subscribe for more videos and of course click that bell to be notified every time I post a new video turn those post notifications on and talk to me in the comments let's have a conversation <laughs> so yeah peace out guys